Quick review of the Walker QRX 350 with the Hobby Power brushless gimbal um, from Amazon. This is a plug and play gimbal. As advertised, it doesn't require any debugging or programming. Um, the instructions that come with it are like your typical Chinese instructions. They're written poorly in English. Um, but it's being plug and play. It's pretty much pretty much nothing you need to know. It, it does, and it is plug and play. Um, one thing I wanted to mention, first time I uh, plugged it in without the GoPro on, this is what it does without the GoPro. This thing is calibrated with the weight of the GoPro. If you get one and you plug it in without the GoPro um, and it does that, don't panic. Um, that's normal. Just uh, put your GoPro on first. Um, I'm using a LiPo here to uh, for dummy weight fools the uh, gimbal into thinking the GoPro is on but anyway you see it initializes pretty quickly and it does work row pitch also have it plugged into the aux 2 channel on the uh, Walker receiver so I can control pitch with the aux 2 knob on the transmitter. I've got my uh, endpoints dialed in to where I can turn the knob all the way counterclockwise and it goes up to 90 degrees and then about halfway on the knob past the 12 o'clock position is when it starts to pitch down. But you can play with your endpoints and get it where you want. One thing though with the GoPro on here, if you go too far down the back of the GoPro will bump that brushless motor the back of the gimbal and it's a uh, steep pitch back on your quad this is what's going to happen it's going to bump it's going to bump the uh the motor and it's going to and it's going to jam the it's going to jam the gimbal and that's what happens the first flight with this i use the 22 2300 um battery that came that came stock with the walk era after about three minutes my lipo alarm started to beep and i had my alarm set at three points uh 3.5 volts per so and um at the time the walker had stock props um so i knew i had to try and lose some weight on the gimbal or give the walker a more power so i did both you notice the you notice the two aluminum plates that have the uh, that sandwich the circuit board here and here um they were you know they're they're about an eighth of an inch thick and that and I, I knew that was one place i could shed some weight i don't have pictures of the of the original plate but before these these ribs here were a half inch um wide and about a half inch wide here so i just took the grinder and i just ground down as narrow as I could get it and still keep the you know the integrity of the of the aluminum. The next thing I did is went to the hobby shop and I bought some APC 9 by 4.7 with the stock props like I said I got three minutes of flight time <clears throat> before I started to uh, hit low voltage and I could only hover at about 80 percent uh, 80 80 percent throttle with the stock props APC slow fly nine inch props uh, I can hover about 70 percent which gave me a little more reserve for auto which also increased the uh, flight time uh, up to seven minutes the bushings they do a really good job at eliminating uh, the jello effect I couldn't see any in any of my videos in the video I'm using a GoPro 960 which is one of the original Go GoPros I do have a Sony action cam AR10 on its way and I'm going to adapt it to this mount I hope to get some really good video uploaded once I get the new Sony in so please subscribe comment and if I left anything out just leave a question in the comments and I'll try my best to answer it thanks